Hey, it's already evening dito po sa Pilipinas. So, iba naman po ay good morning. So, sana po ay uh, nandyan pa po kayo. Maayos po ang inyong kalagayan. Again, we are going to have a Bible study. And this is a Bible study so important for all believers. Yung mga bago po sa pananampalataya. I'm going to uh, uh, explain to you the meaning of regeneration. Okay, uh, hopefully that uh, it will be a good sound right now. Okay na? Okay, so... So ngayon po ay uh, pag-aralan po natin yung word na regeneration. Uh, and hopefully na ito po ay isang uh, Bible study that we can share to others na nagsisimula pa lang sa pananampalataya. So we're going to study about what happened after I received Christ. Okay? So what really happened after we received Christ? Okay? So tignan po natin mga kapatid kung ano ang result ng pagtanggap natin kay Kristo. Is it, uh, is it uh, good or is it uh, really something that uh, beneficial to us? The word regeneration means from the two words, again and birth. Okay? Re means again, generation means birth. So if you experience regeneration as Titus 3 verse 5 said, not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to His mercy He saved us by the washing of regeneration, and renewing of the Holy Ghost. Regeneration means a new birth. So, why new birth? Why it is important to have a new birth? Remember, okay, sinabi ng Panginoon ito sa John 3.3, He must be born again, or very liberally say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So you need to be what? Born again. It is a must. According to verse number 7, it is a must. Why it is a must? Why? a Christian should be born again. Or if you are already saved, you are already born again. Why it is so important to us? Why it is so beneficial to us? Because this is the only way that we can be accepted in heaven. Why? Because you will become God's children. You will become God's child. So, kapag tayo yung anak ng Diyos, kung saan nado ng Diyos, nado tayo. Pero, ano ba ang problema? Bakit kailangan ang isa tayo panganak na magulit? Since, according to John 8, 44, your father the devil. So, yung ama nila ay ang jablo. It means, it means, the spiritual father of every person in this world is the devil. Why? Because every person in this world is a sinner. So, he has never had a relationship with God. Yung birth po natin physically, ay hindi po automatic po na nagkaroon tayo ng relationship sa Diyos. But actually, our birth has a problem. Because according to Ephesians 2, verse 2 and 3, tayo ay tinawag na children of disobedience and children of wrath. So yung ating natural birth is not actually a good birth. So you, we must be born again. Why? Because our spiritual father is the devil. And, our, and we are what? We are children of wrath, and children of disobedience. And according to Romans 5.12, we're going to expect death in our life. And that death is not only death spirit physically, but also death spiritually. Sabi ng Romans 6.23, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So ang kabayaran ng kasalanan ay kamatayan. So therefore, under this side, okay, we have a great problem. We are separated from God. In Romans 5.12, But as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned, dahil kay Adan tayo naging makasalanan, dahil kay Adan tayo nahiwalay sa Diyos. Now, paano gagawin ng Diyos na tayo ay makabalik sa Kanya? Through a new birth. And that is by Christ. According to John 1.12, But as many as received Him, that's Christ, to them gave He power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on His name. So you have to believe Christ. You have to accept Him as your Lord and Savior. Now, if you have received Christ as your Lord and Savior, you have trusted Him. You have trusted His finished work on Calvary. Now, you are God's child. You are God's son. Anak ka ng Diyos. You have been transferred from an evil family to a godly family. Your family now is 
the father's family. Praise the Lord for that. Kaya nga sabi ng Bible sa 1 John chapter 5, okay? 1 John chapter number 5, let's see. Tignan po natin sinasabi ng Bible. 1 John 5, 1. Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ, is born of God, and everyone that loveth Him, that begat loveth Him also, that is begotten of Him. Born of God. So we are born of God. Okay, according to John 1, verse number 13. Born of God. Born from above. So, galing po tayo sa ang ating kapanganakan ay galing sa langit. John 1, 13. The Bible said, Which were born, not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. So, spiritually speaking, we are now God's child. Alright? So, anak tayo ng Diyos. And according to 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 4, we have now a divine nature. Amen? So, hindi, hindi po tayo pwedeng pumunta sa langit nang wala po tayong divine nature. Why? Because that is God's place. Amen? So, how can we have this divine nature? Look at 2 Peter 1, 4. Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by this ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world, so, meron tayong divine nature. Okay? Anong nature natin dati? Adamic nature. Fallen nature. Disobedient nature. A nature that will be punished in hell. Now, we have what? A divine nature. A blessed nature. Accepted in the beloved. So, if a person accepted Christ as his Lord and Savior, God transferred him from a wicked family or a condemned family or spiritually speaking, the family of the devil to God's family. Amen. Eh, hindi po lahat ng tao na pinanganak sa mundo ay anak ng Diyos. Kailangan niyang tanggapin si Kristo, kailangan niyang paniwala ng Ibanghelyo upang baligtas siya at may dala siya sa pamilya ng Diyos. Amen for that. Napakaganda po ng ating pag-aaral. Kaya nga po sa lahat po na nagsisimula pa lamang huwag po kayo mag -alala. Ang kaligtasan po niyo hindi nawawala sapagkat po kayo'y anak na ng Diyos. Hindi po sinabi ng Bible na kapag ang isang taong pinanganak sa kanyang pamilya ay mawawala sa kanya ang relasyon. Or ang isang taong na born again ay hindi na pwedeng ma-unborn again. Amen for that. Praise the Lord for that. Okay po, ang ating pong pinag-aralan is regeneration, the verse, kung saan kinuha ito is Titus 3 verse 5. Meaning ng regeneration means a new birth or a birth for the second time o yung sinasabi ng John 3.3 a born again experience. God bless po at sana po ay magpatuloy po kayo sa inyong pagsaliksik -salik 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 pa. Especially doon sa mga nagsisimula pa lamang sa kanilang pananampalataya yung pong mga nag-grow pa lang sa kanilang faith. Amen. Dapat po kayo ay magpatuloy na mag-aaral ng salita ng Diyos. And I'm giving this study under Bible Study 101 para po sa mga beginners. Upang sa ganon ay unti-unti po nilang makita. Na? We have studied about justification. We have studied about translation. We have studied about imputation. We have studied about anong relasyon ng Trinity sa kaligtasan natin. So lahat po yon ay mga simulain na kailangan po nating pag-aralan upang maging maliwanag sa atin ang kaligtasan. God bless po, at uh, see you in our next video.